So, Doc, profits have been pretty good over here at the dice game, my dude. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Why? Is it, mm -hmm. yeah, any complaints about it? Issues? Nothing? No? Um. I've, I've had fun. All right. You so know, that's making what, you rich. I guess that's what's counting, right? You, you gotta have fun, bro. Right? It's all about yeah. having fun in life. <laughs> it, exactly. I, I do have a complaint, though. What? I, I've cut. Is this the it, is this the um, the customer service desk? Yeah, um, it depends for what. Yeah, we have several businesses here. What are you trying to complain about? <laughs> um. Well, I may have purchased a a rather expensive equestrian vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a cool kid. They say donkey yeah. boats, right? Hashtag. I was super excited. Yeah. You know, I've been rolling. Mm -hmm. They've been hating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh -huh. um, I've already had a breakdown. You had what? In a day? Yeah. You're kidding yeah. me now? And it actually wasn't my fault. How can you have a breakdown in a day? You should have no driver's license, man. Seriously. Well, you tell me. Oh, <laughs> oh, you have a leaking radiator here? Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah, that's a bit that's yeah. a bit of a problem. I mean, you know how it is, luxury. What, what, what sort of secondhand <laughs> trash have you sold me? Here, Dude, man? don't you know if you buy a luxury car, you have to drive it in slowly? Like a, a classical Mulatti Veyron, you have to drive it at least for 3,000 miles until you can hit the throttle. If you do beforehand, I mean, obviously, leaking radiators, all kinds of problems might appear. I mean, I'm sorry. But, okay. you know, fear not. The yeah. repair service is here. I brought my tool. And we're going to get rid of that. Let me enter the, the, the electronical controls of the thing. Oh, that yeah. looks complicated. Thank God you have a service yep. plan, as you are a whale at the casino, right? Do I have a service plan? Oh, yes, you do. Is it free? It is free. Dude, well, everything for okay. my... Now I'm Thank you. Here now I'm feeling a little bit go. Good. Everything me, for my whale. Let me drive the sucker. Yeah. Oh, that's feeling good. Yes. That's feeling good, dog. It's purring like a kitten, my dude. So, you know, obviously I was watching your purchase last time. Yeah. And I loved your enthusiasm and just buying it and not actually knowing why it's good. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going to, you know, enlighten you about that. So hop okay. out of the boat yeah. and click on the donkey directly. Okay. Now press E. Oh. Mm. Yes. Now it all makes sense. Eh? It's got an inventory. All right. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's just gotten a lot better. Exactly. You want to buy I, another one? I regret my decision <laughs> a little bit less. Dude, you said you regretted it, right, in the video. I was deeply hurt. <laughs> 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 no, all good. Okay, it's fixed. Um, let yeah. me get my car. Um, guys, why are we here together, you ask yourself? You know, I mean, so you mean far... other than repairing the, the damaged donkey. Oh, yeah, and, and ripping your of your heart on earth diamonds with my, <laughs> with my shops. Um, yeah. We have a project. And we've been thinking about this for a long, long time. It's been coming for a while. And, mm -hmm. yeah, let's see what are we going to pick. I'm going to ride my Lamborghini. So, yeah. you know, aside of sharing your diamonds, we have one more thing in common brother right yes a common enemy so to speak yes right yes. i'm very mean, common yes very common the convex mm. boys right the the, the um, concorp how they call themselves these days i call I them the, doc, the con boys the correct terminology is the con butts oh, oh, oh you're going that far demonetized demonetized i went there <laughs> uh, you went there okay you're a man of you know that's good. You know. So yeah, you know, they undercut Ren's tree. You know that, right? Yeah. They literally quite, li quite literally. Yeah, they did viciously I must I must say viciously attacked my business idea with beacon services by literally yep. unacceptable. Yeah, it's borderline yeah. griefing. Like literally putting a beacon yeah. there that is always on. It's borderline griefing. In my Doc, it, it, it made me sick to my stomach. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. I, I had to take a break of playing for three days because I, I really didn't feel good. Like, yeah. my friends told me, yo, what's up with you? You look so pale. 
Like for real. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I, I was even worried about you, man. Yeah. I was like, Doc is not himself. No. What's happened? Yeah. So to make a long story short, the convex are the most evil. Oh, you keep on riding. Yeah. <laughs> I may have made a lethal mistake. No, <laughs> I didn't. I was able to get in the boat while standing. It works. Nice. Okay, and anyway, yeah, they are the most... I just see this little llama head <laughs> floating. <laughs> they are the most evil uh. thing that ever happened in Minecraft. They are worse than Notch selling Minecraft to Mojang. They are worse than Herobrine. They are literally... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. They're, they're, they, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, there's two ways to react to that. Either you get intimidated, mm -hmm. right? Or you strike back, right? Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. So, you know, more m simple people would refer to violence, right? Yeah, they, they would maybe yeah. hire an assassin or make an open up an assassin shop, stuff like yeah. that. That is not that is more for the crude folk, you know. The, uh, yeah, yeah, we, you know, we are smart, we are classy, right. and what yeah. makes the uh, world go tick? You know that? Uh, we're also ridiculously handsome, dog. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's just you gotta add that in for the ladies, yes. you know? Yes, ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at us. Get, get in line, mm. ladies. Mm -mm -mm. So, the point is, what did I want to say? Yeah, what makes the world go tick? Hmm? You know that? I know. Cash money. Cash bling, bling. money, bling, bling, baby. So, yeah. where is the big money, guys? Hmm? Um, well... Uh, Wall Street. Oh, ho. so there we go. We say it now officially. Randog okay. and Dog. Yeah. Form a new company. It's called Ren Dog. Right? <laughs> Very original. <laughs> Very original. Now, maybe we came up with a better name. And we're going to be the owner of the first and only official Hermitcraft stock exchange. Yes. 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 It's a genius idea, guys. It, it is more than uh, genius. Doc came to me with this idea the, a couple days ago. He was like, Ren, I have an idea. I was like, Doc, I'm busy. He was like, Ren, this is really good. I was like, Doc, okay. Yes. And we're going to be opening up. Now say this in my accent. Can on you... the server. Yep. Yeah. Can you do my accent? And... Can you say that in my accent? Um, okay. <laughs> Ren, I have an idea. <laughs> oh, brah. Ah, oh, bra, that's good. That's what they say in South Africa, right? Bra, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> suck, dude. Yeah. We, we, we're building but this yeah. stock exchange, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the idea here that Doc had, right, is mm. that we got a lot of companies on this server, oh, right? Too many. There's a lot. The yep. shopping district is kicking off. Yeah. You know, lots of trade is being done. Yep. Now, there's some small companies there's, and there's some whale companies. Oh, yeah. And what we're going to be doing is taking the top 10 businesses on the Hermitcraft server and listing them on Hermit Street. Yes. So okay. some people might say, oh, that's unfair. You know, you leave some of the companies yeah. out. That's right. That's It is unfair in a way, but you got to think about it. Which companies, <laughs> you know, form the Dow Jones index and all those things? Yeah. Only, you don't have, uh, yeah. you know, L L Little Joe's coffee shop on no. the NASDAQ. No. Heck no. So only the big guns, right? And yeah. that doesn't mean, you know, you got to have a big channel or big subscriber numbers or what. But if you do big business, mm -hmm. you're in. So it's open for everyone. So we kind of made a rough estimate which companies are the, the, the leading companies and the make most yep. profitable ones. And we're going to put them in. If you guys disagree with our selection, you can let us know, you know, mm -hmm. and we can, we can discuss. But for now, it's going to be 10 companies. Right. Yep. So yeah. With that said, yep. we're going to be listing them on the stock exchange, yes. and the hermits will be able to purchase stock yes. of the companies, basically. And and we'll get into the details oh, of yeah. it a little bit later. If we tell you now, then you don't have to watch the video anymore. Exactly. So, we're going to yeah. tell you on step by step, but uh, just know it's going to be epic. And uh, do we need to dig out uh, that high, actually? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, whatever. <laughs> we need space. It's going to be here in that mountain. But the cool thing is we're actually going to have a working economy that has different values for the stock and all. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be real sweet. 
So it's gonna be sweet, man. Doc, Doc's gonna be. You're gonna be bringing some redstone genius oh, yeah. to this. Yeah. I'm gonna be bringing some uh, some beautiful build action to this. And just to say right off the bat that um we got uh, my build team involved in this, and they oh, gave yeah. us a really sweet design for our build. So thanks yeah. to all the guys who worked on that. It's yeah. gonna be really cool. And yeah. uh, we're gonna be building it in the side of the mountain because Doc and I can't be bothered to make an entire building. Duck, you have collected some of the finest marble, Italian marble, yeah. known to man. Yes, yes. It took. It was a. It was a quest. You can't believe it. But seven stacks of fine Italian marble we got imported. Was not easy, yeah. you know. But we got it. And, I mean, yeah. deadly. I would say to collect all of this. I still am surprised that I got out of it without dying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came close once, fell in lava, but thankfully yeah. had a few endo pearls, you know, quick reflex. You know, some people might say, Rain and Doc, why don't you just use white concrete? And, <sighs> well, we are working people. on... <laughs> yeah, we're not working on some janky shack. No, but, you know, man. But, you know, people you know. wouldn't ask. It. Our viewers have class. There must be some That's other right. people that don't watch us regularly or something. I don't know, random comments. You know. Yeah, it's like... I mean, would Coca-Cola build a shack on Wall Street? No. Hell no. 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 It's all... Wall Street this is Manhattan here, right? Up here, this is the shopping area. And it yep. gets more and more posh with the highest level of poshness mm -hmm. over here at the right stock here. exchange. There could be a bank yeah. maybe here. There could be office, mm -hmm. you know, like... But only a fine jewelry dealer. Yeah, embassies, yeah. embassies maybe. A Louis Vuitton shop, or any Embassy. other luxury brand. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting and we're not getting paid by Louis. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, other brands are available. Hashtag no ad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've excavated the hole in the mountain. Yes, it looks epic, by the way. Yeah, I think. There's something epic and, about uh, a hole in the mountain, man. <laughs> yeah. And and in this hole, we are going to be creating, um, well, something very similar to the New York Stock Exchange. As yes. I mentioned, um, we've got a sweet design for it. We're going to be yeah. making it out of premium material stock. Yep. And the main components of our stock exchange are going to be pretty simple. A place where, where hermits will be able to trade stock. And then each of the companies will get their own private vault. Yes. Safety vault. Luxury vault. Yes. Doc. Yes. Luxury. Where you put, you know, where you put your payments. So we are not gonna, you always have control over your money, right? You, you can put yeah. your payments of stock into the vault and it's safe there. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. right? it's, yeah. Also, every company gets their own um, life ticker, so to speak. We always mm -hmm. know what value a certain company stock has. So mm -hmm. um, we have it all worked out. It's gonna be nuts. So how much yeah. quads did so, you get? I got oh, seven stacks yeah. and 40. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a smidge. Mm. Bit less than I was hoping for, but <laughs> well. All right, <laughs> we'll make some blocks. Yeah. Now, um, this stock exchange build, Doc, is gonna consist of a couple, yeah, as I said, the place where the hermits can trade, the place where they can store. Mm. But of course, as you're involved, this isn't going to be some, you know, normal build. There's going to be some redstone up in this business. Yeah, of course. So I mean. <laughs> you're going to do the redstone. Yeah. I'm going to do the facade and yep. the, uh, the the structural design. And together, my friend, we are going to create something magnificent. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. You're such a good YouTuber, man. <laughs> so you're building up the hype, bro. I, I can learn a thing or two from you. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, because we are such good YouTubers, yes. you know, we want you guys to get the most out of this project. So, Doc, you're going to be doing the redstone in your episodes. I'm going to be doing the building in my episodes. Yeah. And uh, you guys should definitely catch both perspectives. Yep. To get the full experience. 
if yeah. you're a, a true rain dog fan yeah so today is gonna be a bit of an introductory kind of episode right there will be segments yeah. of us of us together but we definitely don't want to give you the same content you know now for a few episodes yeah. so make sure to really watch us both we're gonna try to really make it interesting from both perspectives and it should be fun yeah. it should be a great project and you know don't want to give away any spoilers but in the end it's gonna shift how Minecraft is gonna be played on the server here. <laughs> Believe me. Things will never be the same again. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a good way. Yes. Of course. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna like I'm gonna start working on the outside of the building over here, Doc. But inside, it's super important that we do a bit of layout here, right? Yes. Well, as the redstone aficionado of this project, you know, you're very particular about where your your red dust goes. Yeah, well, I just don't want right. to build it again, you know. <laughs> That's the thing. We need to make sure the things I built, they're going to stay there. <laughs> yeah. um, by the way, mm -hmm. I forgot to give you some tips, my dude. What? This is on behalf of uh, Big Logs Incorporated. I was big, big. about to ask, right? Mm -hmm. But I was, banking, you, I was banking on you being a really, really good person. And here you go. Yeah. You came through. I got you, man. Chicken for days, you know? baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the whale of your diamonds and of your food, dog. What can I say? That's I love just a pretty you, man. Face. I love you. <laughs> so big money, big money bags, dog. Yeah, I brought my wallet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm broke. How come? <laughs> How come? Don't you make tons of diamonds with your log thing over there, huh? Um, reasons. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> But we're gonna need some shulker boxes. My all dude. right, all right. So can we can we dig into the pockets of Big Daddy Doc? So I for pay for all boxes. of this. I see. So look, this is all the diamonds yeah. I have. Is, is that it? Yeah, four stacks. That's it. Okay. Well, I, we can get two know. for eight. Yes. So right. let's buy as many as we can. Is there some? So yeah, we we need at least ten. Okay. <laughs> for for hermit street for the hermit street project yeah more <laughs> later but yeah okay take out 10 do you have free yeah. inventory by, by any chance I'll um, pay. yes i do you Hold want on. A, you want an ice cream daddy will Two, pay four, for it six. <laughs> yes please daddy can i get an ice cream <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. okay that's 10, ten. okay that's 20 no yeah. how much is it 80 diamonds man Right? No, 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 no. dude. It's, no. it's two for eight. Okay, so what? How many 40? did we get? Uh, forty. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that's on camera, dude. Yeah, I was not like, good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh man, I'm good at math. I had a A grade in school. Nobody can take yeah. that away from me. Uh, Listen, I'll tell you what, my dude. Like, um, we're gonna need quite a few chests for this build. So, Big Logs Incorporated will will. Uh, give wood to the build okay well, no worries you, you i mean you know technically this is our money <laughs> anyways <laughs> i i think you know since i i'm not quite sure but i think i went diamond mining only once during the season like at the first yeah, few days i've done most of the diamond mining for you yes and oh yeah. oh dude i think i sold a, i yeah. sold another trident let's go we need to check this dude let's go okay Okay, so if there is money in the Trident thing now, you're not the only one that people call crazy, all right? <laughs> Let's see if the light yeah. is on. People were saying somebody bought. I should check. <gasps> the light is on, man. The light oh, is on. Baby. That means we had yeah. a Trident sale. Oh, my nice. God. I'm excited now. No way. Check, check with Captain Epo. We could be rich. Who knows how much these people paid. Yes, dude. Three stacks yeah. of diamond in one. W nice so he was as oh. i didn't want to say stupid but <laughs> foolish as you and also paid three stacks by now <laughs> people should have figured out it is not three stacks i said okay. it. it's well, under two stacks <laughs> i've got a great place for uh for us to spend those diamonds dot yes um as we're creating you know this beautiful wall street build it's gonna need some beautiful stuff outside right but maybe we can uh, splash some of that cash toward uh, a master terraformer on the server exactly so guys if you think he overpaid now i also think three stacks of diamonds is a hefty price but it's it's kind of the gamble and when when scar was at the machine i could actually hear the excitement in his voice 
<laughs> he was really nervous. His voice was trembling when he put in the diamonds. Yeah. And then when the trident came out, he was super happy. So technically, you know, mm -hmm. I got exactly what I want out of it. But okay, he gave us three stacks of diamonds. We're gonna, let's say, hire him as a landscaper here. And we're gonna pay him one stack of diamonds. Is that a good price, you yeah. think? I probably I don't know what his prices are, but you know we'll we'll, we'll consult. Yeah, we'll start we'll point. start with eight diamonds, and then yeah. you know we have leeway. Yeah. Don't rat us out. Don't tell him we are willing to pay. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Like seriously. So so doc, I've, I've mm -hmm. created a rib cage. Yes. Oh yeah. Let me over here. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I was in the nether. It, oh yes, nice. It doesn't look like much. It does. Right now. It looks like a giant rib cage. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you found you found one of those fossils in the hill there, dude. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but if anybody's been to Wall Street in uh, New York or seen pictures of it, mm -hmm. they'll kind of see what's happening. We've got the pillars in the middle, you know, the yeah. nice big uh, Italian marble pillars popping up. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm going to be working on that, trying to get that looking a little bit like, um, you know, a little bit like like the Hermit Street build. Yeah. And then behind the rib cage, we've got some things happening. Yeah, kind um, of. We've done all the way out. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Green. Your view is ruined. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, there's a big hole here. So probably what will happen is, guys, the building will have a backside as well, or we will have mm -hmm. to terraform the mountain back. We are not sure yet. <laughs> yeah. But well, now I'm thinking we'll technically we could have dug there. away the whole mountain. You know, we're just leaving the mountain here because we don't want to decorate the sides of the building. <laughs> No, we're super lazy. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> hilarious if you think about me. Uh, let's be logical here. Let's dig away a whole mountain so we don't have to decorate a few walls. Right. It probably would have been easier just to decorate the walls. Yeah. Um, uh, do you have some wood on you by any chance, buddy? Um, I don't. Good. I'm sorry. So... <laughs> Um, just a quick explanation what I'm doing back here while Ren is working on the facade. I'm going to set up our indicators. Here will be our, how do you call that actually, the, t the live ticker? The, you well, know? it's going to be like a trade station, right? It's going to show yeah. you the, the available stock for each company and how much that stock is. And each of the companies is going to have its own module. So we've got like 10 yeah. modules here for each of the companies where you can uh, exactly. trade their stock. Base, so here right? you can buy and it will show the value. But yeah, yeah. more to that in a second. I'd say yeah. um, I'll jump in a solo segment now and we built the redstone together. And yeah. guys, if you're watching me right now, you go to Ren and check out his part where he yeah, finishes more of the facade. Yeah, yeah. And, and for me, I looked at the redstone that Doc has worked on. It, I, I don't know what's it hurts my brain. So go watch Doc make the redstone. Okay. I, yeah. So for enjoyment, I, I, watch Ren Doc. For a headache, come watch me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ren is out there just recording the same thing I do. Kind of an introduction to my solo segment here. <laughs> it's hilarious. I wonder what he's saying right now. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're working together, Iskel. <laughs> So, all right, so my job is um, I'm working on some redstone today. Uh, today we want to do the very central piece, pretty much, of, of the whole stock exchange. So we thought about it a lot, right? Let me give you a, a brief introduction to stock trading. Don't worry, it's not going to be boring. But, you know, I got to explain what we want to do here. So in reality, stock works like that. Um, you know, company sells their stock and the, the better the company does, um, the higher the stock is valued in a sense, to make it really simple. To simulate something like that uh, would be really tricky to do, you know, because we don't really have, you know, our companies here, we don't know exactly how many diamonds they make. Nobody has a, a real financial report or anything like that, right? So that all makes no real sense. But what always makes sense in a market situation is supply and demand, right? If we have a full chest of something, it's cheaper. Um, but if the supply gets lower and lower, the price goes up. And this is our basic idea for the whole stock trading. So imagine, you know, I used swords right now. Later, this is going to be always a full stack of paper. And the paper will be named and will have the name of the company. So let's say this would be the stock of Concorp. Um, that would mean we have a full chest of, um, yeah, six by nine stacks of paper in there. And if you buy stock of a company, you can always take out one stack. 
that's a bundle. That's just how we did it, right? It also has to do with some limitations uh, Minecraft has and how you can detect amounts of entities uh, or items in a chest. So they would buy, right, and buy, and the price now would be, the basic price we start with would be one diamond. So right now the price is still one diamond and then let's say if one about one row is bought and there we have a little problem with Minecraft as well to be it uh, yeah, not being super exact but that's the basic idea I'll show you the problems later but if they would take out this from now on the price would be higher because you know obviously there is less supply so now the price is two diamonds per row and uh, uh, per per stock you buy and you always buy from here Right from you start from the bottom and work your way up, and then um, if this row is sold, we go to four, sixteen, thirty-two, and then the the last stock that is left costs thirty-two diamonds per stack. So we actually have increasing values for companies. So how uh, would our company owners now uh, affect it? Well, very simple. If they have a successful company, they can use their diamonds to invest into their company, which is held here in the vault, because, you know, the diamonds for most of them that made a lot of diamonds, they're just sitting around anyways, right? So they could invest and therefore make sure their company has a high value. And if they make a lot of diamonds, they can buy a lot of stock and make the value of their companies high. Now, other hermits, of course, could think, man, this is a way to make some good diamonds. So they go ahead and know, for example, Impulse Corporation, right, with iTrade and all that. They make a lot of money. So probably um, Impulse's stock will be worth a lot. So if I'm a smart investor now, I buy all the cheap stock right in the beginning. And then when, um, yeah, Iskal, uh, Iskal, I say Impulse com comes in and buys his stock, the price will rise. And then I can come to the stock exchange which is owned by Ren and Doc, so we need to have a big bankroll as well in case people want to sell. And yeah, they, they can come then and say, oh look, the price for Impulse stock is right now at 16 and I bought it for two because I was one of the very early investors. They can actually sell it to the price it is right now on the display here. And then we put the items back, the price will go down again and so on. So this is how we have a regulated market. So now you ask yourself, man, but Ren, dog, you're doing all this work, all this service. What are you making of it? Well, A, we might be able to get some early investments in some of the companies, right? We're not going to be mean like and buy everything, you know, <laughs> that would not be something. But we probably hold a few shares of some of the companies. And of course, as in any stock exchange, that is how we make money. We have, um, let's say, um, a little, yeah, obolus, a little amount of money you have to pay for each trade. So we are not quite sure about the pricing yet. Um, we were thinking maybe it's just one diamond every time you want to access your deposit box in the back, right? Something like that, or we maybe make, make, make it more expensive, or maybe we even think about a season pass for trading. But technically, I don't think a season pass is a good idea here. So that is the very basic idea of the whole trading. I think it makes a lot of sense. And now I'm gonna, yeah, what I just explained to you in theory, I'm gonna build here. We're gonna build a display that is able to detect the amount and um, go up in price. And I have to build 10 of them. So yeah, let me do that. I think it's the best way. I then just show you how it works. Right. I mean, I think that makes more sense. Uh, I know the design, I kind of memorized it and I can easily repeat the pattern. Um, but yeah, other than that, great news, guys. Actually, you know, remember we had our bounty right on the Ender Dragon. And believe it or not, a hermit came through and actually um, got the kill. So yeah, let's check out this little sequence here um, where I meet with the yeah, secret hermit who did it and yeah, they get their prize. Hello! Hello Doc, how's it going man? Good, good, busy as usual. Wait. Yeah, I, I see that thing in your hand for a second there, mm -hmm. that, that looks nice. Yeah, you want yeah, it? That, that, <laughs> I, I, I do, I do, and I did, I did your task. Yes. Your, your bounty. 
Absolutely. Yeah. I can confirm. <coughs> Yesterday I quickly went into the uh, yeah end and Fossey contacted me and said, hey, look, uh, look, I think I got the North, po North Portal open. And if you don't know, <laughs> there was a bounty on that for everybody that yes. opens the North Portal for me uh, can get a trident and a free wish trident. So here is Falsies. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> you, you don't want to even know how many dragons I had to kill and how many deaths I had. It was, uh, yeah, it was it's quite terrible. the challenge. <laughs> Re really? How many did you kill? <coughs> I think four or five. I don't think I wow. got the... Wow. So unlucky. Yeah. I mean, there was portals all over the place. Le Re yeah, they, kept, um, they yeah. kept popping up in the like other side. And yeah. I was like, no, pop, pop up on the, on the north instead. Yeah, I, I always thought it was in the order, you know, going around. But actually, it's random, yeah. So yeah, Fossey yeah. asked yeah. for a Riptide Trident. There we go. Mm -hmm. Fully enchanted with mending. Fully repaired. See? Riptide 3. Impaling four. I mean, okay, you could get impaling five if you wanted. Uh huh. Well, I don't know how this works. I haven't used one yet, yeah. so I'm gonna, when it's less likely, try it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can just, just you know, come, on, come over here. Let's send in water. Yeah, teach, teach me how to use it. Yes. I'm probably gonna kill myself or something. So but. right now, I mean, you have the Riptide Trident. That's what you wanted. That is the one that uh -huh. you know can help you that is the one. launch. So let's say if you sit <laughs> in the water here, right? Yeah. And then charge it up with right click and aim straight up oh my goodness yeah that's so cool yeah and you can yeah. use it uh, in the water as well to get forward right if you like boost in the water like that oh, yeah and it also looks super cool yeah and you can use it to attack people as you just did if you do this uh, whirlwind <laughs> attack. Does that actually hurt then? Yeah, it hurts. It, it's one and a half oh. hearts and I have pretty good diamond gear. So it stings. Okay, that's pretty cool too. Yeah. You have to be good at aiming though. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you cannot throw this one. Um, that For that one you need the um, loyalty and, and all it, that. Yeah. Does it hurt really bad when I like left click something? Hit, hit does me. it work like a sword? Hit me. Okay, that took one and a half hearts of me. Okay. So, so it's not, same, same yeah, super, not super bad, but with the impa um, impaling on, it's really good for water mobs, you know, drowns, you can kill mm. fast and so nice, on. Nice, nice. Yeah. So Sweet. thank you oh, very much. Man. Great favor to the server. Now I can start <laughs> building the um, yeah, ender pearl farm. So we finally get oh, ender pearls. Is that what it's for? Yes. Oh, uh, I, I didn't actually know what it was for, so that's interesting. Yeah. Cool. I wanted to have a, you know, a beacon out there somewhere in the middle of the void, and now I can build the farm there. That's the plan. Nice, awesome. So awesome. awesome so thank man. you very much, Falsy. Much no worries. appreciated. Talk to you later. Um, yeah, talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So yeah, awesome. Thank you, False Symmetry. I already went to the end, um, s checked if everything worked out, and indeed we have a portal in the middle of the void. That means we can start our Enderman farm project ASAP, but right now we're building a stock exchange. <laughs> And yeah, those are the displays. So now I wanted to do one thing. Um, I need to come in and have this these powered. And then we have a look at the basic redstone. It's not complicated. I don't know what Ren was talking about. Um, it's just about finding a way to do it that is somewhat not too clunky in a way. But technically, yeah, it's relatively easy. So what we do here is obviously we're comparing uh, signal strength, right? That is what you can do with comparators. And right now, um, this lower one will always be on because that's the base price. This We will have signs here. One diamond, two diamonds per stack, four diamonds per stack, eight diamonds per stack, 16 diamonds per stack, 32 diamonds per stack. Right. So right now, this chest would be completely empty. So the price right, would be maximum. So um, that's why we need uh, power here. And if you check out F3 and look at the power output here now, it is 15, right? Maximum. That means I will take this redstone wire now and bring, you know, bring it all the way up. So when we reach power level 15, all the torches, are, all the lights are lit and the power level goes down. The more stuff we put in here, right? Uh, let's say we take a bunch of swords here. Let's see yes, how many we can fit. They go in here and then you can see the power level here is now 10. You can see that on the right side hand of the screen, targeted block, Minecraft redstone wire, you know, power level 10. So now the, the price would come down and this is exactly what we want. And to achieve that, we pretty much just invert the signal here. We use 15, redstone power 15 from this block 
and that comes out here and then we subtract whatever is in here. So if nothing is in here, right, in the chest, we subtract zero from 15 and then we go all the way up. And this is exactly what we want here, right? If nothing is in here, the price should be the highest. So we want to have the maximum power back here. If this is full all the way to the max, we get power level zero out of here because, yeah, 15 minus 15 coming in from here is zero. So that's how we do it. And now it's just, you know, about getting the wire up there and hooking it up to the different lamps. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Well, that was a shocker. Um, Ren <laughs> just burned to death. Um, but he didn't die in lava, you know, because Ren is right now on a mission to get quartz from the nether, because we need a lot of quartz for the facade here and everything. In the meantime, I was doing the work, guys. Yeah, I actually finished all 10 displays there are, should be all functional and we got a fully set up thing minus what is on the science here we'll make that a bit nicer maybe like that concorp you know this is for example the concorporation here current value one diamond per stock that means you know all the stock is still available we have a low price and then you know i will not just write two four eight six, just it's just for the test we will write it nicely on there Concorp current value 2, concorp current value and so on and all the way up to 32 as I explained to you. So now let's uh, be a customer, right? So I come here and want to buy. So I gotta, gotta keep track of that a little bit. So two diamonds, three, four, five, six. Okay, nothing changed. Seven, eight. Aha, and here we got a change already. So, yep. This I can buy, so this will cost me seven, di seven diamonds now, and the price is going up as this gets rarer. We would love to have it in rows, right? But it's not fully possible with Minecraft. You can play around with the values a little bit, but the way it is coded into Minecraft, it just doesn't work. It's impossible, pretty much. But, you know, it's pretty close, and we will do a quick explanation video for people, um, you know, to f yeah, so they understand how it works. Right, so now we would keep on buying. Now everything costs two already. This is all two, 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 two. Price is still two, okay. We buy. Uh, oh, okay, the price is now four. So here uh, at the second line, it is pretty much if you take out oh, the leg, this, it will go up. So then they keep on trading, you know, and then eventually, okay, we're at eight, eight still. Eight. Eight. What? Four. Yeah, yeah, okay. When does it switch? Ah, here it switches to eight. Okay, about here. And then you would keep on trading. Let's get rid of a few swords here. Later it will be stacks of paper, of course. You know, right now the price is eight. Okay, can still buy for eight. Still. All right, still, and now it goes to 16, right? So it's towards the end of the rows here always, so kind of you know what's up. So now you would have to buy for 16. It gets really expensive, and then eventually, you know, if all that is sold, we are up to 32. And now it's really pricey to invest in this company. But yeah, this is how we're gonna do it. And I think it makes total sense, and really that's, that's the way to implement it in on a server so people can actually participate in a way and also have influence about how much their company stock is worth you know by just buying a stock of their own company and you know they don't lose the money we just have it we just hold it for the time being um, as a, some sort of deposit right so that's their investment then mm, then you know they have capital that's what they call it the companies have actually yeah, base capital uh, on their name, so they're credit worth. You know, it's like it's, it's the whole thing. But the point is, this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, I'm pretty stoked that it's actually was done with that so quickly. So I think I will help Ren. He will be he will be quite uh, amused when I'm already done here. Yeah, the next project for me, redstone wise, will be I'll definitely hook up a three by three, a door vault door back here. Right, this is um, where things go. <laughs> oh, we got our first interested customer. Hello. Yeah, we need more. 
<laughs> we did a we we did a sugarcane petition. All right, thank you. Sisuma had something about. Thank you, man. <coughs> okay, so as I said, we have these things set up and ready to go. So next redstone project for me will be a nice uh, three by three vault door back here where you know you gain access to the underground vault and our initial plan was to build it out here on the back but uh, that won't fly um, we will build it underground and that's even better for a vault so probably you come in and then we have an elevator you know that brings you down into the vault and then you walk in and then in the vault you will have your deposit boxes right with securely locked uh, special deposit boxes we have a nice redstone design uh, there as well so yeah we'll we'll have to um yeah set that up too but it, i have it all all in my head already so i just need to build it it's pretty much like a blueprint saved up in my head that's how i work with redstone can memorize a lot of designs but by now i also probably forgot as many redstone designs i had memorized and some people know in their lifetime <laughs> well in any case um yeah that's the redstone part here done for me today. I'll check what Randog is up to and maybe give him a little bit of a helping hand. Farming quartz. Man, Rand, <laughs> there's some weird smell coming off of you. It's like yellow and it you really smell. You, you did put in some work, right? You've been sweating, <laughs> bro. <laughs> but dude, I, it has been a day. Uh -huh. I mean, we've done a good, what, six hours? Six and a half hours on this, this grind? Yeah. Oh, it's been good though yeah it's been good and did, now did you, how did you get on you get on you get on okay oh i'm i'm, I'm done with the what i wanted to do today um yeah nice. made made nice. a lot of these redstone cells they're working rented mm -hmm. the whole facade so now we're gonna play mm -hmm. you guys your viewers right look mm -hmm. look our look at the shot we we, we picked right <laughs> you see a little bit of ren's facade in the back you see a little bit of one of the pillars i made so now, if yep. you're my viewer, you wonder, man, I so want to find out how the facade looks from the outside. And what are you going to do? You go now to Rendox video, my, pause mine, yep. and you go there, look at the facade, leave a like, and leave a comment. And vice yeah. versa. I command you and, to do and that. Yeah. You guys watching me, you do the same for Doc. Doc, yeah. this is professional YouTubing 101, yeah. my dude. Like, you, how good are we at YouTube, man? Now if wow, you would, we're good. Now, if you would only look at my camera, we, it would be really perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of, you're staring, oh, man. You're staring in, in the abyss, man. <laughs> I've never <laughs> realized that, dude. Look, I look at the camera, like, straight, you know, and for you, is, is it for you the same? Yeah, it's up staring <laughs> off into the distance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thinking glorious. Thinking about the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, um... Oh. I'd say we can call it for today. Yep. Um, next episode, I guess we're gonna continue here, right? Do we? Will we? Yeah, I think we we plan to really yeah. push through and get this done. You yeah. know, so trading can start the sooner the better. Yeah. Next up, we got to work on the, uh, you know, on the um, the vault. The, uh, my brain's given up. Yeah, it's been a, t a, a on day. the vaults. That's yeah. it. On the vaults. The vaults. We got to work on the vaults. Yeah, we we decided we're gonna put them uh, in the basement here below us, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I need to make got the door. To oh, yeah, that's, and we uh, got to go get more quartz. So quartz. Yeah, that's. I've been farming yeah. quartz for days. <laughs> I had it. All yeah. right. <laughs> so we see you soon, guys. Right? Yeah. Sweet. Bye. Thanks for watching, dudes. See you later.